Hi, this is John Clements. Welcome to a special short edition of the UMass Fruit Advisor. Today is Monday, October 16th, 2006. We're out in the UMass Cold Spring Orchard. And very quickly, I wanted to show you a couple of scab-resistant apple varieties that you probably haven't heard of that are relatively new. Availability is probably limited, but uh, I kind of like them from what I've seen so far. The first here is Topaz. Uh, Topaz is uh, uh, very popular in Europe. I believe it's from either Germany or Hungary or Czechoslovakia. I can't remember for sure. But anyways, uh, it's actually a little late on these Topaz now. They seem to be hanging on the tree. Uh, this is a second leaf tree. Um, it was from CNO Nursery and uh, has a few fruit on it, as you can see. It seems to be a little upright and vigorous. Uh, like I said, 100% scab resistant. And uh, I think you'll be seeing some more of this apple down the road. Now let's go look at the other one that I wanted to talk about today. Here's the other scab resistant apple I wanted to show you. This is Nova Spy. I'm admittedly a little late on picking this one. It's probably ready about the end of September. And uh, Nova Spy has grown up in Nova Scotia quite a bit. They claim it's very similar uh, to uh, Northern Spy in terms of uh, processing it, using it for baking, etc. Um, it's got a kind of unique growth habit. It reminds me of, a, of an alder. A little bit weeping seems fairly productive. This is on M7 rootstock. Again, I'm a little late on this one, but this is Nova Spy, another uh, one that might be good for cider or, or, or processing value-added type products, and again, scab resistant. So those are the two scab resistant varieties, varieties I wanted to show you, the two scab resistant apple varieties. Uh, John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor. Have a good day. Oh, and just one more thing. It's too nice a day to not show you these Fuji on uh, Bud 9 rootstock and a super spindle apple planting two feet between trees. Uh, both of these uh, uh, varieties of Fuji I have in here, uh, Desert Rose and Autumn Rose from Willow Drive Nursery are on Bud 9 rootstock. And as you can see, there's a real nice heavy crop on these, these this year, a very pretty Fuji. Um, I highly recommend both. So I promise that's all until next time.